Hey everyone, it's me, Chloe, coming to y'all with another video. Today's video is going to be about how to get PA jobs, film jobs, camera jobs, you know, in the film, TV, commercial industry. I get this question sometimes, <laughs> and my answer is always networking, but I always feel like the short answer is never enough. If you if you don't know nobody, if you've never worked an actual film job, PA job, I feel like the networking answer just is not enough, okay? And so this video is going to be uh, some more in-depth advice for people who are trying to get into film. I hope this helps. Uh, and I hope this video, you know, sort of guides you on how to actually meet people who can, you know, help you get these jobs. All right, so number one is research. This is the first step. You gotta research your area. You might be living in a place where there are no film opportunities. There are no TV opportunities, not even commercial opportunities. You might be living in a town where it's just a, a, a chicken factory. Ain't no film opportunities there, okay? No tea, no shade to your city but you might have to move if this is really what you want to do if you really want to work in film you might have to relocate you might be living in an area where you didn't even know there was a whole film community me specifically this is what happened to me i graduated back in may last may um and i know i was coming back home and so i looked up film in my city and i pressed on all the links deep, 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 and come to find out there's a whole independent film a company here in the Memphis in the city there are multiple media production companies here in the city uh, there was a whole feature film that was being filmed that summer um, women of the movement part of it was filmed here I mean there are real film opportunities to be had here in my city I just had to do the research and it confirmed like you in a good place. There's TV opportunities. Um, documentary shows get filmed here all the time. People will come here and film like one episode. And that one episode is all you need to make some money for the month. Okay, just do your research first. You need to research locations. Number two is know what you want to do in film. There are way, 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 way more positions in film, on a film set, than writing and directing. And I'm gonna go through them real quick. You got your directors, you got your main director, but then you got the first uh, AD, then you got the second AD, then sometimes you got a second, second AD, then you got your camera department, you got the DP, you got the first AC, you got the second AC. Sometimes you got a camera PA, because I was once a camera PA. I feel like that was a made up position just to you know help me break in. I appreciate that. But hey, a camera PA can exist sometimes. You got the grip and electric, the gaffer, the grip the swing and it's a whole bunch of them setting up lights uh you got your audio usually one or two people um but audio people are very important audio people are far and few between so if you're good at audio stick to it you got hair makeup wardrobe wardrobe assistant makeup assistant hair assistant you got you got your pas you got locations you got uh, a COVID officer, you got a medic, you got a safety officer, you got a script supervisor, you got the set designers, and it'll be like four, three, four of them, depending on how big the set is, what you got going on. Um, it's just so many people on a set. And you might not even realize that you're good at something else other than writing and direct. It's also important um, to know what you want to be doing in film because it's easier for people to guide you into those positions to direct you to jobs that will help you grow number three have a portfolio it's not absolutely necessary but the reason i say have a portfolio is because i believe it makes you more memorable i meet so many people people who have way more experience than me meet so many people and if you tell somebody if you meet this person you want to break into the industry, you tell them that. Uh, you tell them what you want to be, but they might not have a job right there at that moment. And so if you have a portfolio, something you can show them like, hey, check this out. This is me right here. It makes them remember you. If you don't have nothing to show, I mean, they might remember you. I don't mean to be rude when I say this, but I take a lot of numbers down. And I have a lot of contacts in my phone where I don't, I cannot put a name to a face and I don't even know why I have the name of my phone. 
And it's because all we had was a conversation, but they didn't actually show me anything they had done. And I'm not even saying this like I'm 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 just that girl when it comes to the film industry. I'm not. But granted, I do get opportunities that I cannot take sometimes. And so I give them to I pass them along to other people who do who are serious. I know for a fact are serious about doing this because they've shown it to me. I've worked with them or they've shown me their work. I'm just saying. So number four, we're finally on to actual networking. The first three steps were things you need to do before you actually get to network. You did your research, right? In that research, you might've found media production companies. Uh, you might've found fellowships. You might've found um, literal film houses in your city, uh, rental houses in your city. Um, you might have found a lot of film related entities in your city with that research. And with this information, you take your portfolio, you take you knowing what type of position you want to do in film and you reach out to these people, media production companies, email them, call them, pull up on them, have your resume, have your portfolio, have a message like a pitch if you want to call it that and be like, hey, I am new to this. I'm trying to break into this industry. I'm very serious about this. I, I don't I really don't feel like this pitch is the best, but, you know, come up with something that lets people know that you're trying to find jobs and you're trying to break into the film industry. OK, internships, apprenticeships, fellowships, apply for them, even if you don't think you're qualified, because that's how I met the people who put me on. Basically, I graduated looked up, you know, went on Google, looked up film in my city, found the uh, independent film company organization. Um, when it was on their website, just looking around, saw that they had a directing apprenticeship. I thought I was too old for it, but I was like, you know what? I might not be too old for it. So I applied for it anyway. Um, I got to the finals, went to the interview, met three people, Jordan, Sharika, and Joseph. And I was like, hey, they were asking me questions. I was answering the questions. And with them asking me, I was able to tell them what I want to do in film. I want to be a DP. Um, and also, they saw my portfolio because I gave them a link in my application. Two things I mentioned before. And so, I didn't get the apprenticeship. But instead, they gave me jobs. When I got these jobs, I met more people. And with meeting more people, I got more jobs. Networking is just like, it's crazy because it used to give me anxiety before I actually had to start doing it. When I graduated, I, I just did not know how to network. I did not know how I was going to network. I did not know how I was going to be in a room with people who were in film. But I just ended up in it with just researching, <laughs> knowing what I want to do and, you know, applying for an apprenticeship. I did not know that that was going to lead me to six months of full-time freelancing, uh, working on a feature film, being the second AC on a feature film. That still blows my mind. Being a camera operator, people trusting me to operate the camera. Like, what? I'm mind blown. <laughs> it's, it's, it still blows my mind. I'm very grateful. Find people on Instagram. Find people on Instagram who are doing what you're doing, who have experience, and hit them up. Because the worst that they could do is say no. And the best they could do is say, yeah, I'll take you in. I'll show you what's, what this is all about. I got a job opportunity for you. I got a PA position for you. Yeah, we can grab coffee and discuss this. That's the best that could happen. But you got to go for it. I used to be really shy. Um, and I used to have bad social anxiety. I still get anxious sometimes. But, you know, I work through that. Uh, and I'm an introvert. And I work through that, you know. I just do, but I have dreams. I have things I want to pursue and I'm not going to let, um, you know, personality traits or anxiety stop me from doing that because those things do not control me and they don't control you either. So I'm going to let y'all know right now, if this is what you want, you need to go for it. You need to reach out to people and you need to be confident. Don't be afraid. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helped and I will see y'all in the next video.